Oh, so what are you doing? We're gonna finally make Sonoran dogs. All right. So basically, these are pretty easy. The Sonoran style hot dog. I don't know. The first time I had it was like 95, 96. We took a Memorial Day uh, trip out to Rocky Point and uh, drinking all day and stuff like that. We were like, you know, me and my brother were like hungry. And, you know, there was a vendor out there. He had hot dogs on the grill with bacon, bacon, basically just bacon wrapped hot dogs on the grill. That's and he had toppings all over the place. So, you know, the toppings were like, you know, mayonnaise, onions, green onions, tomatoes, cheese. He had different salsas and all kinds of different things. So this is gonna be our take on the, the Sonoran dog, okay? So basically we just got, you know, some of these jumbo dogs mm -hmm. and uh, just wrapped them in thick cut bacon, okay? So all we're gonna do is just toss them on there. We're just gonna put them on the grill here, let them cook, all right? And we're gonna go from there, all right? So these are just regular hot dogs, regular bacon, nothing fancy. But these are delicious, okay? Uh, we've had them in a couple different places, different restaurants. Um, Huero Canelos in Tucson. Um, we've had them at, uh, well, yeah, pretty much Huero Canelo. That's one of the big ones, okay? And we're just going to, they're just going to, you know, sear up the bacon. So that's all that is. Oh, wow. Um, we got some chilies. All right, we've got those on here. Let's see, kind of brown. These are chiles caribes, okay? Chile hueros, however you want to call them, however you get them at the store. And uh, these are pretty good. They're just, they're just kind of like a side, a side thing you put on them. You know, they look good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna roast those and then that's it. All right. Um, we'll also, um, some of the toppings that we're gonna use, we're gonna use uh, some pinto beans. All right. Um, there's just a uh, regular pinto bean, nothing special about them. I seasoned them, I threw in a little bit of salt, pepper, a little garlic powder, and some um, uh, oregano, okay? Uh, the kind of bread we're using, these are uh, bolillo rolls. And uh, you can get these at a lot of the grocery stores, Mexican specialty stores. In the deli department. And yeah, so and that's, that's all those are. Uh, we have uh, cotija cheese, some queso fresco, some uh, chopped onion, some green onions, some tomatoes. Uh, we have some mayo. Um, we also have some crema, some Mexican cream. Okay, which uh, is kind of like hot dog. Uh, it's crema. Yeah, it's kind of like um, a mix between sour cream and mayo, I guess. No, not really mayo. It's more like a sour cream with extra buttermilk in it or something. So the very closest thing next to it is is creme fraiche or sour cream. Do you know? we have the container? That, or you just put it? Ah, no, I tossed it. And it's, it's it's crema. It's cream. It's, that's all it is. Yeah. And then we have uh, some homemade uh, guac sauce, which is uh, you can see on one of our other videos. And that's pretty easy to make. Guacamole. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, uh, avocados, jalapenos, cilantro, uh, cilantro, onions and uh, lime and lemon juice, and then some seasonings, all right? So uh, that's our topping. So we're gonna go ahead and let these kind of cook off, you know, go. And uh, we'll be back in a few minutes when we're getting ready to uh, get these served up, okay? Okay, and, and we're back. It's been about uh, five, six minutes. And uh, all we're doing is basically just, you know, cooking the bacon because the sausages or the hot dogs are gonna cook and they don't really gonna take that long to heat up all the way thoroughly. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw these rolls into the oven at 350 for about five or six minutes. Oh, maybe not even that long. Just until they kind of get a little bit of warm. And a little bit of warm. <laughs> a okay. little warm and then uh, kind of like a little crunch on the outside, okay? So we'll just pop these in here, 350. Uh, let them sit for a few minutes. And then uh, we'll be back, and then we'll start plating these up, all right? So, uh, okay, that, those are done. Uh, they've been on for about 10, 15 minutes. Just, you know, twisting them around. Uh, as you can see, they're all, you know, browned up a little bit. 
And the bacon, it is thick cut bacon, so it did render a lot of fat. I did have to get like, you know, some and spoon it out. You might want to drain it, but just be careful with it, you know. Or you can just use a different pot altogether, okay? So, over here. All right, the buns are done. All right. Okay, so these got nice, they're nice and hot. I'm just going to cut it down the middle. I'm going to split this sucker open. I'm going to go with the mayo. All right. This might seem weird to some people. Okay, but once again, these are Sonoran dogs, man. These are these are a little different than what pe some people are used to. All right, so the flavors are a little bit different. We got a dog. Throw that in there. We're gonna grab some pinto beans. All right, and you can use these on a regular bun, but you know what? Regular hot dog buns to are make, just not gonna to cut make it because you're room. putting. So many toppings on here, it's just crazy, okay? So, you know, I like a little green onion, all right? A little tomato, all right? A little onion, well, who doesn't, right? Okay, now, the, the cheeses that we got, two different ones. We got the cotija, which has got like a, a salty one. Yeah, yes. that's a nice little salty one, okay? You can just sprinkle that on. Okay, this one is not as salty, but it's got like a little bit better texture on it. So it's I like good both. Flavor. Yeah. They're both really, really good. I really like okay, this and that's pretty much it. You know, you got your salsa here, boom, boom, and then you got your uh, crema. crema, and here it is. This is your, this is the uh, Sonoran, Sonoran hot dog. Okay, you can dress it up with a little bit of a uh, little chile on the side. Um, and of course these are these are messy these are good you know <laughs> oh yeah it is really good all right let's go ahead try it out you gotta take a bite i know how huh? i feel like that who's that guy from that show we used to watch that man versus food thing uh-huh gotta take that bite mm. oh yeah mm, that's delicious it's making me hungry so That's really good. Is it? Well, can't wait. I slide it over. Oh, yeah, I had these a long <laughs> time. These are really freaking good. These are better than that restaurant. So, well, yeah. anyway, these are some only dogs. Sit, we're All right. So, as toppings go, whatever you like. If you want to use, you know, if you just want to go through, add some beans, add the mayo, you know, relish, mustard, celery, salt, you know, make them Chicago style. Who cares? Throw on a couple of these ingredients, try them out. They're fantastic. You know, this is really good. The beans, I just season them up a little bit more, you know, than what they can. They're canned beans, canned pinto beans. You know, just season them up with whatever you want. Uh, you know, a little bit of salt, pepper, some garlic powder, um, a little bit of uh, uh, oregano, some cumin, coriander, whatever, you know, it, it tastes good. Uh, the bacon, it was thick cut bacon. You can use, you know, regular cut bacon, that's fine. You know, applewood, smoke, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, experiment with the toppings. Um, you'll find that, you know, some of these combinations are fantastic, they're delicious. So, you know, uh, once again, I wanna thank you guys for, you know, coming along on this. Um, I hope you enjoy making this with your family, you know, and eating them. This is great, you know. Um, like, share, subscribe, you know, ring that dinner bell button, that way you get notified every time that we put a video on, you know. Uh, thanks a lot for coming. Thanks for, you know, spreading the word and giving us more subscribers. This is, this is really cool. This is a lot more than what we've ever expected. So uh, from us to you, thank you guys. Uh, we're just cooking. Enjoy.